I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix, everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at Batman number 12. After being betrayed by Catwoman, Bruce Wayne will need to fight his way out of Santa Prisca. What'll happen next? Let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? Okay then, so after having the bulk of his Suicide Squad killed in the previous issue, Batman is forced to go it alone against Bane's almost endless army of thugs. Also, much like in the last issue, Tom King decides to do something rather interesting. Instead of the story being told through traditional text bubbles, we are instead treated to a giant comic long letter that Batman wrote to Catwoman after she was transferred from Blackgate to Arkham for being too dangerous. How did he manage to write and assumedly send this whole letter without getting outed as Batman? Uh, your guess is as good as mine on that one, honestly. In the letter, Batman talks about how completely ridiculous he thinks the actual concept of Batman is, dressing up like an animal, hanging off gargoyles in the night, beating up criminals in hopes that it will actually stem the tide of crime and corruption. He says the whole thing is utterly ridiculous, and if his classy parents were alive, they would think it's ridiculous too. Um, okay... Yeah, believe it or not, a good chunk of this comic is just Batman slagging off the entire concept of Batman. While all the while, Batman continues to fight Bane's henchmen. In fact, I found it kinda hard to keep the geography of this situation straight, because if you'll remember in the last issue, Batman was sort of up in the rafters. Now he fights his way through these guys, but has to fight his way outside the building and through the water to fight his way back into the building. It almost feels like, you know, they were trying to stall for time so they could get more of this letter out. The letter further goes on to drop the bomb that after his parents died, Bruce Wayne had actually contemplated suicide, even putting his father's straight razor to his veins. He didn't do it, though, because he thought he found a better way, becoming Batman. Yeah, he is vengeance, he is the knight, and he is also suicide. Thus the name of this story, I Am Suicide. Yeah, according to Tom King, in this story, the entire Batman persona is just Bruce Wayne's own personal way to die. Ooh, wow, we are going to have a lot to unpack here at the end, aren't we? The letter further goes on to say that the reason Bruce had such an attraction to Catwoman over all these years is because, you know, he saw himself in her another lost soul who dressed up like an animal, like him attempting to fill some unfillable void inside herself, and he said that when they were together, he felt good knowing that maybe he wouldn't die alone. And yeah, that's more or less where the comic ends. Batman fights his way to Bane's throne room where Psycho Pirate, the prize that he's been after this whole time, is waiting, and yeah, this is this is where it ends. Batman number 12 is the comic that I think officially marks the moment where Tom King lost me. I mean, I'm fine with the untraditional approach to storytelling, having no actual dialogue until the very end and telling the rest of it through letters, that's fine. Kind of swerving me as the reader and having this story actually be all about Catwoman, again, I'm fine with that. I take no issue with that. It's the other stuff that really does my head in. Honestly, I disagree with Tom King's assessment of Batman as a character. It seems that he has a really cynical take on the character, and I personally never looked at it that way. In my mind, Bruce becoming Batman was his way to fight against death, not accept it. I mean, really, when you stop and break this comic down, what was it? A lot of extraneous action scenes so the writer could give you his thesis on the character. I know the story's not over yet, and there's still a chance that Tom King could pull one last trump card from his sleeve and change everything, but jeez, this far along, I'm not sure he can. Overall, I would give this one a 5 out of 10, and come to think of it, this might be the lowest score I've given a Batman book in a long time. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer, or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.